Solomon reporting for Katie Chats at the CFC Barbecue in Toronto with actor, writer, producer Daniel Fathers. Hello. What are you? Hello. What are you most looking forward to for the CFC Barbecue? Well, you know, I, I keep running into a lot of great, um, great artists and producers and directors that I've worked with and uh, I'm going to be working with shortly. So it's just. It's really great to be with industry folks. Great. And you have written and you're producing and starring in a short Western film that you're shooting in November. What's yeah. at the heart of that story? The, the, um, the working title is Colton. And uh, I thought it'd be, I own uh, horses and I'm a bit of a renegade cowboy myself. And I thought it'd be really cool to write a Western. I've always wanted to be in one. So I decided with Alan Hughes, who's my writing partner, to write a short Western. I mean, how many Westerns are there as short films in festivals? So um, at the heart of it is uh, I'm a, an old time gunslinger kind of a bad kind of guy in the past, but I've decided to turn over a new leaf and settle down. You know, I've been shot up and m making amends with myself, the universe, and I settle down with a wife on a ranch and my past comes back to haunt me. And uh, it's the struggle that I go through with saying, hey, you know what, yeah, I was a bad guy, but I've made amends and I want to be good, and yet the universe doesn't want to let me. Aww. So, and I have to pay retribution. I see. Yeah. And are you worried about shooting with the horses in terms of logistics, or and how much are your, your horses going to be in the film? Yeah, they're going to be in uh, quite a lot. And no, I'm not because I've I've worked with. Uh, in fact, I was on Pompeii oh. recently this summer riding as a Roman. Um, and uh, I had a regular role on Heartland out west as a as a, um, as a riding coach. So no, I'm not too worried about the horses. I mean, I own horses. I live with them uh, on my ranch, and I work with them all the time. So no, it's it's going to be fun. I just I wanted to incorporate them into a film. Great. And what was the best part about being the male lead in American Girl Blanche? You know, I had a lot of fun. I trained originally as a as a ballet dancer in London, England, and um, I, I was hired to play a couple of the leads in Mamma Mia at the Royal Alex because of my ex dancing. So it, the best part about being in that film was two things: one, working with the kids again, and in fact, there was a, a, the uh, the young girl. Um, who had the lead, who played Blanche, was one of my junior rockers in, in Camp Rock 2, in the Disney movies. And uh, it was just, you know what, it was great being back in the dance world. You know, it's been a while and I don't know, what, you know, I trained as a dancer, I was going to be a professional dancer, I kind of was, but I, my, my passion was in, in filmmaking and television and yet dancing keeps sucking me back hey, in hey, <laughs> so I don't know I don't know so yeah I actually retired uh, professionally dancing uh, at the age of 38 and I don't know here I am again 47 and still doing it somewhat it was great we had a lot of fun great. and where is the best place to find out more information on you and all of your exciting projects online I would say my own personal uh, website, which is danielfathers.com, or you could go on imdb.com and just look me up there. Right. Thank you so much. It was lovely chatting with you again, and enjoy the barbecue today. I will. I'm, I'm looking forward to one of those barbe um, the, uh, burgers. Mm. Oh, enjoy. Really so good. Okay. All right. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at the CFC Barbecue in Toronto.